Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we we're talking about the one, the only Reed Shepard. Reed Shepard went three in the most recent overall draft, and frankly, over the past year has skyrocketed in total potential. Today we are going to discuss the one question that I think Reed Shepard needs to answer on his own and maybe with the coaching staff that could potentially allow him to make a huge jump in terms of productivity in the NBA and potentially be a very, very elite player in the NBA. We're going to break this into two parts. We're going to talk about what he does well and then how he can use that to create more opportunities in the future for him and for his teammates. Let's go. All right, the first thing to establish right off the bat is Reed is a very, very good shooter. He shot 52% in college, which is frankly unbelievable from behind the arc. And so this is easily the biggest benefit that he brings to his game. And so one thing that the Houston, Houston Rockets have tried to do is essentially get him involved in ball screens up top, which gives him space to work with, and you have a defense that sags off whatsoever, he can punish them with a mid-range jumper. He did this very effectively in this game and shot it with very high efficiency as well. I know he missed that first one, but the next three he's going to make here. And so this puts a lot of strain on the defensive big in particular because if the guard gets caught whatsoever, it puts a huge amount of strain on this play right here, which is frankly what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do on offense. Put, put good players in difficult situations, and so you can take advantage of those difficult situations. And so I would be semi-remiss if I didn't mention that Reed wasn't exactly, like, he's not the quickest, he's not the best ball handler, so he sometimes struggled in these situations getting by good, quick defenders. However, his threat in general was able to ultimately give him opportunities to get to this mid-range, where even if you get caught whatsoever, you get the big that's slightly lackadaisical, and you he has got such good touch. Like, you can see, the moment he rises up here, his body is immediately under control, and his head is focused on the target immediately. Like, that's very, very high level. And then the other thing I would like to mention is that I I do think there are certain times for mid-range shots, especially with elite shooters like you have here. However, I would really like him to make this into a three-point shot if he has the opportunity to. Like, if he can close out aggressively, or if he can attack something like this is a difficult one because it's a card closeout. But if you could maybe sidestep is something to think about as well to put more strain on the defense also instead of shooting a mid-range shot. But he shot this mid-range shot very, very well. So then the big thing that I think symbolizes the change for Reed Shepard, the potential huge benefit, is maybe I'll call this like the Steph Curry effect. This is the way Steph Curry changed, dramatically changed the game in my opinion. Yes, we all know Steph is a great shooter. He's been a great shooter, shoots the ball very aggressively, shoots it very well. However, the way that Steph Curry makes huge strides for Golden State, puts huge benefit for him, and potentially the reason he was MVP, is because he punishes teams for overreacting to the shooting. Okay, so first off, this is what I was talking about. I would like Reed Shepard to be a threat right here from behind the arc instead of taking two dribbles inside. Because, I mean, you're such an elite shooter out here. Why not space out the defense a little bit more? But, okay, Reed comes to the inside. And so this is... This, I think, is showing the idea that Reed understands the concept and Houston wants to put him in these situations. And so as if he gets better at this, I think he has real, real chance. So first off, the shot pick. They use the threat of the shot to create imbalances in the defense. Both defenders leave their feet and he finds a nice pass to the inside. Hey, the big left his feet. He vacated the middle. Give your big open space to work with. And so essentially every time I want Reed, if he gets remotely any space whatsoever, if he doesn't think he has the shot, I want him to make sure he's pump faking. Make sure you are putting strain on the defense, making sure this player is like, oh crap, he's got a, he's a shooter right here, I got to stay connected to him. And that's why I want him to shoot this ball more often also, because the idea puts even more strain. But he does a good job staying balanced right here, he recognizes the big steps up, what's open, the space in the middle. And a good pass right in the middle where only his player can get it. And so it's a good sign that we're seeing this from Reed Shepard already. He's using his shooting to create open opportunities. And this is frankly the best example that I'm I'm in particular looking for him. I think if he does this more often, he could be a really, really good player in the NBA. Okay, so boom, ball screen, created that separation, goes into immediately shot fake. Okay, this is what we see from Seth Curry. Force the defense to be like, oh, he's going to bury this three if I don't step up and contest it. 
and then you have your player rolling to the middle and a nice, easy, calm pass. It doesn't have to be a flashy pass, just a little bounce pass, lead him in the middle, force the defense either to come over and foul or players along the side to be open. This, I think, is the single best play I saw from Reed Shepard in that game, and it's using the idea of the three to create opportunities. And then so really, in summary, the thing that I want Reed to do to really allow him to reach that next level is to, one, shoot the ball more if he's open. If he gets caught on a ball screen, shoot that freaking ball. And two, use the threat of your shot to get defenders out of position, up in the air trying to block it, and allow that to create a five-on-four opportunity and essentially give your other teammates space to work with and they're good players, they will make them pay. Because of this, I am really optimistic about Reed Shepard as well. I think shooting is a very valuable skill, and I think Reed provides that very, very effectively. If you enjoyed this, I'm going to post a link right here to a video that I did on Tyler Kolek last week, who I am also unbelievably excited for. Feel free to check that out. But most importantly, have a blessed rest of your day.